Hi folks, welcome to Colorful Artie and Marty play an April Fool's Let's Play. This amazingly high resolution and high frame game. I don't know game. what you're talking- this is a great game. This is Candyland. For the computer. Well, not just Candyland, Candyland Adventure. Oh boy! Loosely based on the classic kids board game. Oh, I bet this I is- I don't even remember where we got this game to begin with, but we had this on the computer and it is- Terrible. Yeah. But also nostalgic, so it's we figured nostalgic. perfect April Fool's Let's Play. So, we're going to explore the wonderful world of Candyland. Do you want to play a one player oh, game? With, frame rate. with amazing frame rates and A plus voice or acting. Do you want to play a two player game? All right, Marty, do you want to do one player and we just take turns, or do you want to do two players where I think we each have to do everything? <laughs> do we each have to do everything? I think so, yeah. I'm fine with either. <laughs> Um, I would I would be fine with either because we can I don't know we might have different commentary but we'll do two player we'll do two player why not we've never done it before because anytime really? I wanted to do we'll two player when I was like ah, already can we play when I was like a little kid what really delicious good enough to eat what are these fruit we got the fruit I think we each pick one to play as oh oh um that or the game crashed. <laughs> <laughs> I do declare, I think the game crashed. <laughs> okay, maybe two-player mode will not work. <laughs> okay, uh, well, gee willikers, Batman. Uh, <laughs> this game is not very well programmed, and it crashes a lot. Well, what what fruit would you have picked? I would have picked the chocolate bar. The, the, the best the, the fruit. Best fruit the chocolate I would have bar. picked the coin. Um... <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, no, this crashed. I literally will have to <laughs> shut down the entire operating system. Okay, give us a sec. Well, okay, we'll be back in just a bit. Or do you want to play a two-player game? Well, Mr. Gingerbread Man Sam, Since... I have no idea who what his name is, but we wanted to play two-player, two but apparently like, that doesn't work. No, so. what, what actually happened is this, like, these two little bears or whatever, thing one and thing two. <laughs> oh, dear. Guy. The cat in the hat has sabotaged the multiplayer and, in this game. And, I don't even know what the multiplayer in this game is. I think it's literally just, like, you have to take turns doing everything in the game. And it's like, oh, you did it faster, so I don't, I don't even know. Guess we're doing one it. player. <laughs> Great, one player it is. <laughs> Thanks for that delay. Oh boy! Does seem to be easy. Or do you want it to be a little bit harder? Well, easy or harder? Since since not we're hard, both, just a little hard. Since I we're both easy by accident. Since we're both adults. Here. We should do easy. We should do no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm physically, emotionally, or mentally prepared to do hard mode. I think we're fine. <laughs> hard mode is like barely any harder. At as all. so long as the game doesn't crash. True. Okay, we'll play a little bit harder. A little bit harder means the game crashes. <laughs> All right, he's he's riding the roller coaster down the board game of Dude, Candyland. Dude, it's, it's Space Mountain. <laughs> oh, the best loading screen. <laughs> great. With, with great music. Oh my gosh, it's the bird from Pop Pop. Oh, uh, hello there. Hi, dude. Welcome to Mr. Pop's Candy Shop. Haven't had many visitors lately because my shop's nearly run out of candy. If you could help me get some candy, that would be nice. If I don't get some candy soon, I'll have to close my shop. Oh, uh, if you'll excuse me. Dude, you suck at running a business. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> Didn't you call, like, your marketing people or something to be like, yo, can you send us some more? Hey, maybe we should uh, buy more candy. He's like, oh, I, people haven't just given me candy, so I can't sell it. Phew, I thought I'd never get out of there. Haven't got much time. King Candy's in big trouble. He's been kidnapped by evil Lord Licorice. Please, you gotta save King Candy, or there'll never be enough sweets to fill Mr. Pop's shop ever again. I'm, I'm sorry. How how is Mr. Pop's getting his candy? He he's got an illegal deal going on with King Candy. Also, why does he have an actual Road Runner in his Everyone, building to work as the to the doorman? I thought it was the, the Pop Pop bird. That's like no, that's a parrot. Oh, it's candy. And it's blue. No, this is a red Road Runner. <laughs> All right. Wait, wait I, I'm wait. What? I'm so confused what? already. I've played this game before and I'm so confused. Oh, hey, dude. Oh my gosh, it's Wally. The Candy Kid is here to help Captain Cookie save King Candy. Well, <laughs> I'll give them a taste of sour power. They won't forget. <laughs> they didn't do a very good job spicing the voice clips together in this no, game. No, they didn't. How are we gonna get over this mucky mess? 
180. Did he just say? <laughs> Who are you calling a mess? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's only Gloppy. He lives in the molasses swamp. In <laughs> are you are you having a stroke? The molasses swamp. <laughs> You're keeping us from finding King Candy! King Candy? He's in the Licorice Palace Dungeon! Lord Licorice put him there! Ooh, how I love candy! Maybe if you find me six candy... Three of those are not candy! And you oh can God. get to the palace and save King Candy! I bet we can find all those candies in Candyland! No! <laughs> Also, we need, to, what? we need to talk about a couple things. Here. Yeah, okay, okay, so a way down game. Okay, first off, I thought Mr. Pop's candy shop was, like, in the real world, and then we get teleported to the land of candy. That's what again. I thought, too. No, apparently he lives in candy, because the, the candy kid, who's the gingerbread kid, he came out of the weird statue of King Candy. I thought that's where Candyland was. Yeah. But no, apparently he lives in Candyland, so... Oh, Mr. Pops, you were you were such a bad business. Also, like, how did I run <laughs> out of candy? I just don't understand. Okay, this. okay. The gingerbread man's we voice clips. He was like, <laughs> <laughs> candy. candy. <laughs> also, when we're told Lord of Icarus is evil, what has he done? I guess he's captured King Candy, but like King Candy would have gotten captured sooner or later. Yeah, he's not exactly also, competent. Where are uh, is that gingerbread? Uh, where? The trees? There? Point at the actual screen, not on... Yeah. Yeah, those are gingerbread trees. <laughs> Cannibalism. <laughs> just because... Don't think about it too much. So there's an actual alligator living in, in Gloppy. <laughs> All of this is Gloppy. <laughs> this guy's just can hanging we, out. Can we have a prepositional phrase for... Did you just eat Cheese Whiz? Ew. <laughs> Let's he's never like click that, on him like again. He's like that kid from Goofy Movie. <laughs> it's Cheese Bobby. Cheese Whiz. And okay, so Gloppy, like, is the personification of this entire swamp. He's just kind of hanging out. He's got nowhere to go. He's, oh, King Candy put me in charge of being his mold. But now he's sealed in his own palace. It's like, hey, uh, Gloppy, can you maybe move so we can, like, save the world? Oh, maybe if you give me candy first. Okay, what's your favorite kind of candy? I like, like peanuts. peanuts. <laughs> That's not candy. What is this? Maybe it's so, a sweet peanut. Maybe it's a surface so, peanut. So, so if, if either Mr. Pops is in the real world, and this is just the candy world, in which case we're like, oh, let's get some candy from this make-believe world and bring it back to him, a la Dragon Tales. A la Don't Dragon know. Tales, yeah. Or, or he lives in Candyland, in which case, how is he in business with selling candy? It's like, why would I buy, like, peppermint sticks from Mr. Pops and just pick them up off the ground? No. <laughs> I'm not a very good business fan like that. No. <laughs> Anyhow. <laughs> Goodbye. See ya. He just says just peace all, out. He says his entire speech like I want candy. And just okay. Out. All right, let's peace out. Okay, I have to tell a random story about <laughs> about going to the store the other day. I, it's close to Easter as well for April Fools this year, so I was like, oh, I'll go to the store. I'll get some like candy or something for mm -hmm. like my boyfriend or my friends at college. They have like you know Easter bunnies. They've got like a cross, like a chocolate cross. They had. They had a. Easter T-Rex. <laughs> oh man, that's what I want. It was a giant chocolate T-Rex. And I really wanted to buy it, but nobody would let me buy it. No. <laughs> also, fun fact, I wanted to record this as an April Fool's Day Let's Play several years back, but um, that was the year that like all 20 of our April Fool's Let's Plays we failed. We tried <laughs> at least six games, and all of them failed. In a variety of ways. So we're finally getting to do this, and this is like oh, the overall. these are the, okay. There's He's like, hey, come on, okay. let's go! Okay, so there's Lollipop Woods, Peppermint Forest, Gingerbread Orchard, Peanut Brittle House, S Ice Cream Sea, Gumdrop Mountain. Yeah, so these are all places from the actual board game. I forgot about the Lollipop Woods. Okay, I think we should go in order that we actually reach them in if we play the board game. So do you remember the order that those are? No. Okay, it goes... Do you remember Pooh Candy Land? So it's kind of... Oh, that's why. Because they have different. different, completely different places. Yeah. Okay, uh, we, it's Gingerbread Orchard, then Peppermint Forest, then the Gumdrop Mountains, then Peanut Brittle House, then Wally Papa Woods, and then Ice Cream Sea is last. So okay. like, this, the Gingerbread Orchard, this is the one that crashes the game the most. So it's so, good that we start it first. Yeah, let's start here. Okay. Way to go! Way to go! Oh, you finally favorite. could click something. Wait, we've talked about this. Oh, oh yes. Lord, oh yes. Heading 
looking for the gingerbread orchard, eh? <laughs> I guess it's time to shake things up with a few ticklish candy feathers. No! How diabolical! <laughs> Warren Lickers is by far the best character in this. No, I was no about question. To say, the way how he talks, could we put him on Pirates of the Caribbean? Do another refurbishment. <laughs> we want the redhead. Put the redhead back in and put Warren yeah. Lickers. <laughs> <laughs> That's not creepy or anything. What? What is the Lorax doing here? <laughs> You see oh, right. great. Now the gummy worms are going to eat up all the plums. Oh no! <laughs> and an emergency cyber attack. Don't care about coffee. Say, that's a good idea. You can put them in these baskets. <laughs> this guy has what the most doing? trivial problem ever. He's What's like, oh no, oh no, Lord Liggers tickled these trees, so now they're laughing and the plums are falling on the ground. Now these worms are eating them. It's like. Okay, it's like, uh, maybe we should put them in the baskets. Are you gonna, like, do anything with them? No, I just don't want the worms to eat them. <laughs> it's like, but when they, every time they eat What's a worm, wait, a new plum wait, grows on the why tree. Why is there licorice in the background? Also, um, how are these trees made of gingerbread growing actual plums? This, this doesn't make any Makes sense. sense. <laughs> what is the licorice doing? Oh, yeah. Every, every, pa uh, every place in the game will have a little licorice stick that you, you can click on. Uh, we'll do that later. What? It sounds like the cat in the hat ride at Universal. <laughs> okay, let's never click on the clown face again. Clicks on the other one. These trees have the weirdest laughters. Hey, Poppy, I don't understand what to do. Who, who got paid to laugh as a druid man? The gummy worms can get you them. Oh no, the gummy worms! <laughs> okay, so what we need to do is we need to pick up the plums and put them this in these the different baskets. The, the medium-sized plums. Oh, those are big plums, apparently. Those go in the big baskets. Big boy baskets. Big boy baskets. These go in the medium ones, and then the tiny ones go in the tiny baskets. No, I'm, you're not eating that plum. You're not eating that plum. Oh, and there's a plum meter to tell yeah. you how many... All of a sudden, we're playing Rayman with all these Dude, plums. why is uh, the Lorax... This is Candyland, not Fruitland. What the heck is this? Okay, why is the Lorax mixed with Danny DeVito not doing anything? <laughs> He's lazy. He wants other people to solve problems for him. Good thing the gingerbread man has telekinetic powers. Oh, yeah. I don't ever want to leave my roller coaster. <laughs> to be fair, I wouldn't either. Man, these gummy worms are fast. Yeah, I'm pretty this sure the hard. I'm pretty sure the only difference for hard mode is this that is hard mode, mode. The, the gummy worms are faster, and that's literally it. Don't we need okay. to click on the lick? We'll get that later. Well, thank you. And thank you, too. Who are you saying that to? Us. Oh, he can see us. That's he creepy. He can see us. What are we gonna do with all these plums? I just don't know. I don't want them to spoil. I got it. We can make a plum pie. We're, we're gonna need some other ingredients for that uh, as well. Hello, giant ants. Aunt Julia's recipe calls for 15 plums. That's a lot of plums, Aunt Julia. <laughs> um. Great animation. I can't count. How have you lived in this long? <laughs> I thought you were joking earlier when you said, I can't count. No, he legit can't count. <laughs> how are you the leader of this plum forest, sir? <laughs> I don't know how to count plums. It's, you're literally just hoarding these in the barrels. Oh and like, gosh. Uh, we can make plum pie. Well, we can make the ants make the plum pie for us. <laughs> All right, we'll cook on the licorice. Oh, hi. Oh, plum pits. I'll take care of you once and for all. <laughs> Let's keep a counter of how many times we hear that exact laughter. <laughs> <laughs> he says it almost as much as Papa goes, Wow! Wow! <laughs> all right, we need 15 plums. Obviously, the biggest plums are the best. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> this is magic. magic. Look at this magic. I thought the trees from Pajama Sam were freaky. Nope, these are freakier. <laughs> yeah, these can have nightmares. Jeez, like it's like okay, I want you like okay. They get the voice actors. They're yeah. Like, okay, uh, in the studio. All right, ju I just need you to laugh for us. Okay. <laughs> 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 
It's like, not not like an insane person. <laughs> like this isn't your this isn't your audition for the Joker. No. I just love plum pie. I can't wait until this one is done. What was that, that was the weirdest what was face. That expression. Ever. I just love the plums <laughs> candy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, this game is so much weirder than I remember. Yeah, I remember this being, like, normal. I was like, oh boy, I get to be done with... Who would ever use the small plums? Yeah, like, seriously. <laughs> I know that's how I make my pies, too. Whoa, magic. You really helped me out of a jam. For all your hard Should we work, jam? I'd like to give you this gigantic purple plum. That is a big plum. It was like bigger hey, than his hand. Gloppy wanted one of these. I don't know why. <laughs> okay, wait, 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 wait. So they finished making the pie and the birds went, ho ho, and dropped Just dropped the, the fully crust. baked crust on the top. The, the plums are still whole and like with the pits in and they're not cooked, but it's like, that counts. I love a plum pie. <laughs> that counts. That's all you need in a pie. This game nobody, is so weird. Nobody makes plum pie like pl plum pizza. Yeah, <laughs> that's not a good thing though. Oh my gosh. Also, did you get the, the, the pun in my name? I'm plum pie. <laughs> Dude, you have the saddest place in the entire yeah, game. Yeah, get, get This is Candyland, and you're growing freaking plums. plums. I, I have, I've had enough to hear with you. No, He's like, what? No, good, no goodbye, just gone. Just later. <laughs> you did a good job. Okay, let's never go back to Plumpy's freaking forest again. Peppermint forest. Right. Peppermint forest. Another forest, but this one actually has candy growing there. Off to the royal peppermint forest, <laughs> are you? <laughs> Perhaps you'll get a charge out of this. He just whipped a thunderclap. I know <laughs> that's something I wish I could do. Pikachu. Look at the. Why are his teeth gray and his eyes gray? <laughs> it's because he ate too much black licorice. That's true. He's so evil. He pulls out like literal sour powder or like a gumdrop, blows it to dust, and he disappears. <laughs> I want that power. He's also basically Captain Hook meets Waluigi, in terms of appearance. And he's, he, man, he's got a big gap in his teeth. Oh, I really had an extra grind with that Lord Licorice. This thunder and lightning storm really made a mess of the place. Not to mention that all my animals went scurrying off into the forest. We can help you find your animals, Mr. Mint. On behalf of the Royal Mitten Oh, that's his nose. My eyes were going crazy, so he kept blending in with the stuff in the background. And they could be anywhere. I'm gonna oh, sit okay. down. <laughs> oh, that's right. You literally just click things until you find animals. The dude has a on hard mode, you've gotta click more stuff. Oh, if you wait, they actually appear. Dude, dude. What? He has a freaking peppermint axe! Oh, we need, we definitely need his help to kill Lord of Licorice. I mean, um, beat Lord of Licorice. We, we don't oh, kill in does. this game. There are seven animals missing! There, I think there are only four he in easy to, mode. We have to get so much, do so much more work. What? It's a bunny! Wow, magic. Six more that rabbit six more animals oh boy. that rabbit looks so done with life i don't really blame him because um he's like this I, game is not very he's good. like i need my paycheck you found a mouse a mouse a mouse why? Okay, I can't tell if this is just my computer that's no. admit my scene things up, or if the game just did an absolutely crappy no, job the of game... making the sound effects and voice. Because play our properly. computer, when we played it at home, was bad. You found a bird. A bird. This is like it's like um some of those cutscenes from Sonic Adventure Two where like they literally interrupt themselves while it's yes. playing. Yes. You found a skunk. Game <laughs> over. <laughs> No, oh boy, no, I have I'm a thinking, pet skunk. And he, I'm thinking of the he's like. He's stinking up the place. You're not even good enough to be. I'll my make kid. you eat the. Yeah, that's the exact scene I was thinking of. Oh, a squirrel. That's cute. You that squirrel's huge. That's like the size of the squirrel at my bird feeder in my condo. That's he literally he spent like four straight hours just eating out of my bird feeder. That's why he's so and fat. And he's so fat. It's, okay. It's actually hilarious. We have some squirrels where we live that are like the size of cats. Oh, hooty hoot. Who gets the boot? Yep. You found an owl. Why is he owl. awake in the daytime? Also, he looks. Oh, who's this? 
A turtle? Aww, it's so cute. You found a turtle. Hey, it's Franklin. And all my animals are present and accounted for. Job well done. I'm are you the only one with the axe, though? Doubles as a flute? I'm okay with that. No, you broke your axe! <laughs> you broke your flute! Candy kid. Here's your own personal peppermint candy cane. It, you're, it didn't have the crook at the top. Also, can we talk about, like, what is... I sure hope we can free King Candy. Oh, boy! What What is his job? Is it like, I have my seven baby animals that are that went missing just, like, out back out? Or, <laughs> yes. like, like, does he grow the peppermint? Is he one of the peppermint? Um, like, what I think is if he? you think, if you start thinking even slightly too much about the, the candy, uh, the Candyland lore, I think you're going to come to some disturbing conclusions. It seems like there's sentient peppermints, which he is, and then he's also growing candy canes and then cutting them down like they're trees. But there are also real trees here. And there are also gingerbread trees and What's puppies that? Oh, wait, 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 we gotta click the liquor ish I Definitely click on the liquor <laughs> liquor ish And the, and the snowman. snowman. Oh, it's freezing out here. <laughs> okay, there are living snowmen why, here. That's creepy. Why does the snowman have like a chain yeah. smoker voice? Uh, it's freezing out here. <laughs> uh. Oh, there is. <laughs> All right. Slush pops. I'll put a stop to your candy meddling. What are you doing? <laughs> Why didn't he stomp on the s the ice so much? How did his feet not freeze? <laughs> I love how Mr. Mint was just staring at him with the dopiest smile ever. Like, oh, I wonder what's going to happen here. <laughs> You've really earned your stripes, Candy Kid. Oh, that's funny. Oh, that's oh, okay, that's a good pun. I appreciate that. All right, let's get out of this this uh, backwoods area. I mean, peppermint forest. Goodbye, animals. <laughs> and he gives us the salute. Okay, that's kind of that's cool. That's kind of cool. Uh, should we progressively feed Gloppy as we get the stuff or feed them all at the end? <laughs> I would say feed them all at the end. That'll save time. Oh all boy, right. our Gum favorite. Gumdrop Mountains. This is probably this is the best world or the worst world. No, this is the second, <laughs> second best or best. Oh boy. <laughs> Headed for the Gumdrop Mountains. Well, <laughs> this will gummy up the works. Did you just throw a bomb in there? <laughs> he did. <laughs> just an earthquake. <laughs> no, it's like he ate half of the gumdrop. <laughs> he just took a bite out of it. It looks like he took a bite out of it. Also, Lord of Licorice has a pretty awesome theme song. I kind of... <laughs> help! Help! Oh my gosh, it's... Is that you, Jolly? Yes, I was minding my own business digging for gummy drops. The next thing I know, kabam! I'm down here covered with rock candy. He broke both of his legs. I'm looking a little flat. Yep. Maybe we could get those alphabet rocks off you and put them back in the alphabet bridge where they belong. A oh plus God. voice acting. Oh, goody gumdrops! I was hoping you'd say that. Oh this boy. Is, this guy's a Who mix. Does anybody actually remember Jolly from the board no, game? No, no. <laughs> I was about to say, this guy's a mix of the Cheshire Cat and Bing Bong. Kind of. With a, but also with, like, the voice of... I was going to say with the voice of Farmer Ben, but not quite. <laughs> Farmer Ben? <laughs> Farmer Ben from Ben. Hold on, let me hear this again. These rocks weigh a ton. A little bit, actually. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> it's okay, dude. You're oh, literally wait. made of gummy. So you're not gonna break any bones. <laughs> I was mining for gumdrops. There are literally gumdrops everywhere. <laughs> like, what are you even doing with your life? They are jolly. Wait. Let's just leave him. <laughs> I thought I thought this one was the the matching game. It is. But Perf there are two parts to this. Oh. We gotta line these up in the exact right order. You can't put these out of order. You gotta do it in the order of the alphabet for um reasons. Oh, I was like, what are we reasons. spelling? Oh my gosh, this is my favorite place. I love Klimilak. Free at last! You broke your legs. Nothing broken. That's the good thing about being made out of sugar. Oh. A, B, C, D, E, F. That is way too enthusiastic of a dance. For oh no, me. did we miss out on the licorice? <laughs> We may have. I thought, we you, have could, to I thought you could click on them at any time. No. We can put that in at the end. Y and Z. Now you've sung Jolly's alphabet song. 
Next time you can sing along. No. Wait, my two extra gooey gummy drops are missing. Oh no, he gads. <laughs> we saw them in here somewhere. Can't remember the spot. Uh, what are these creatures? Some of them are gumdrops, but I don't know what Jolly is supposed to be. If you match the lowercase letters with the uppercase letters behind these doors, the miners will help us find Jolly's gumdrop. But only if we do that. It's like, dude, you literally know where his gumdrop is. Can you give it to us? Not unless you can match uppercase and lowercase this letters. Is, this is like the, um, what is it? Um, Pop, you know, Pep's birthday surprise? With the guy that's, or is it the circus where he's like, I have this club, I have my magic card. Oh, that's the circus. But I can't, I can't flip I can't over flip my cards. <laughs> yeah. Here's I get the, it, it's for little kids. But here's the thing, educational games, like, you can have, put in, like, genuine obstacles and, like, justify needing to learn stuff. Like, that's why I like Zumbinis, because it's why, like, Zumbinis yeah. actually has, like, legit obstacles Zumbini. that you have to use. Zumbinis Yeah. Sorry. Also, but here it's just like, it's like, oh, I'll help you if you can tell me how the uppercase letters and lowercase letters mix together. It's like, that, that, that wouldn't happen and in real life. Math Journey, I think, is also kind of like that. Yeah. P, peanut butter cookies. Okay. L, lemon drops. Beautiful. Y, yummy bars. <laughs> I know that, that famous dessert, yummy bars. Yum. E, eclairs. <laughs> Hey, at least eggplant. Eggplant. <laughs> did he just say butterscotch? <laughs> yeah, he did. P peanut butter cookies. P peanut butter. Are these cookies. matched based on the doors? Um, I'm not sure. P peanut butter cookies. Like based on. No, the there are only three yellow doors, so it can't be. Okay. Why yummy bars? Yummy bars. <laughs> Why? We need this Yummy sound bars. effect. <laughs> <laughs> I want to say that the people who voiced the, voiced the characters in the game were just like having a field day, giving the weirdest voices Yummy possible. <laughs> H, honey. To be fair, that's honey's exactly, not a candy. That's exactly what we did for Phoenix Wright. <laughs> <laughs> e e e that's a different guy. E e e e e <laughs> Not cookies? C is for cookie. Maybe they couldn't copyright that. W, whipped cream. B, butterscotch. Butterscotch. I love the Scottish accent. B, butterscotch. <laughs> butterscotch. <laughs> I will only ever say it like that from now on. L, lemon drops. Oh, lemon that drops are there. legit. Lemon <laughs> that's my idea. No, that's, a, to me. that's how you know they're related. C. Carbo corn. Oh, Ca boy. Car Carbo corn. Carbo corn. Carbo corn. C. Carbohydrates. <laughs> w. Whipped cream. Whipped that's, cream. That's what I. That's how I used to say Whipped cream. All right. <laughs> H, honey. Honey. Sure. It would have been funny if they had of the Winnie the Pooh voice. Honey. H, honey. Honey. What? What was that at the Whoopee. bottom of the screen? <laughs> Whoopee! We found gumdrops. You're living in gumdrops. <laughs> oh, good. The licorice is back. You've got a memory like a gummy elephant. Here, this is for a you. One elf. extra gooey gummy drop. I'm glad we don't live in candy land. Yeah, wow. Oh boy! Now Gloppy will be in gooey gumdrop heaven. Oh I boy! I know exactly what the gingerbread man sounds like. It sounds like fake Aang from the Ember Island players. Yep, yep. Yep, yep. <laughs> He's got a little more of an annoying voice than that. He also sounds like a humongous entertainment. What character. is that pose Jolly's in? He's just like. I can't wait he, to start I work. To say, he <laughs> I can't wait to pay my taxes. <laughs> oh, I feel like that could be a meme. Gloppy loves eating these extra gooey gummy drops because they stick to his sweet tooth. <laughs> Most of these puns suck. Grab, like, come on. Grab the, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Whoa. Whoa. He bungee jumping? Ooh, that sounds like a... Wow. <laughs> Physical abuse! 
was hilarious. Physical abuse. <laughs> Lord Vigorous really isn't doing anything wrong. Like, yeah, he caused a thunderstorm, but also you could describe all, that as a freak of nature. All he wanted was literally to just be in his castle by himself. He is a lord, so like... Presumably, he is royalty, so... Yeah. Maybe he just wanted King Candy. Literally, if King Candy turns out to be evil, then Lord of Licorice is the hero of this story. Yeah. <laughs> just want to point that out there. All right. Back <laughs> now up. we moonwalk back <laughs> off this trap. We jump back on Space Mountain. Get back on Space Mountain. All uh, right. Grandma Nuts House? Were you just shaking your butt at me? That is, that is inappropriate. Is he? Yeah, it looked like he did. We'll find out next time. I guess so. Off to Grandma Nuts, I hear. You'll soon see it's not all it's cracked up to be. Ooh, I like that pun. Oh! Oh! Uh, okay, well that escalated quickly! <laughs> Lord Licorice is just like, I will send a tornado to kill Grandma Nuts! <laughs> Destroy her? Okay, okay. Maybe he's more evil than I thought. Before, he was just sending, like, a little bit of rain. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, oh boy. Oh no, he scared the animals. Oh no, he tickled the trees. What the heck? Grandma Nut was older. She looks young. Boy, am I roasted. One tizzy of a cotton candy tornado just blew in. It tore all these candies off my house. And I've forgotten where the pieces go. Say, Grandma Nut, I'll bet we can put those candy shapes back where they belong. Oh, land sakes, that would make me happier than a frog in a pond. That, okay, Grandma Nut is, like, 30 at most. Yeah, this lady, <laughs> she could be in her 40s. Uh, maybe. She looks like she's gonna go on she's the Oregon aged, Trail. She's, she's aged very well. Also, she, her, her scarecrow is made out of popcorn. Popcorn. Never knows it. <laughs> very effective. Oh, nice. Packing crow is giving me a headache. <laughs> he's a sentient fiend of... The scarecrow is sentient, and the crows are eating his brains, and he's aware it's happening. That's a little frightening. I'm still disturbed Thanks by how much a gingerbread is tornado. My True. Gingerbread house is a disaster. Also, there's a beehive. Wait. Clean things up, your girl. gingerbread house? It's supposed to be a peanut brittle house. That's the whole... It was literally called the peanut Grandma, brittle the... house. It's a gingerbread house? She just called it that. I hope you can put all these candy pieces back on my house. If there's a shape, we'll match it. Oh boy! Okay, okay well. Uh, square, hey, on square. <laughs> square on the square. Triangle. Square on the square. Two sides short, two sides. Yeah, we, I know what a rectangle That's is, Candy Kid. Stop patronizing trapezoid. me. Trapezoid. A circle goes around. Yes, it does. Oh, an octagon. <laughs> Not a trapezoid, Marty. <laughs> No, I wasn't talking about trapezoid. What? I thought you said trapezoid. No, the one that you put in that's red is a trapezoid. Oh, yeah, that also, is Also, there's a beehive in the tree. Oh, well, oh, let's just ignore that. Her mood improved instantly. That's how I danced at prom. That is literally just a peanut. It's a peanut brittle nut buster. It's a nutter butter, but we're not gonna call it that. Click on the shapes in the same order that the squirrel. Oh, I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> then pull back and get the I have an idea of where they were. Okay, uh, okay. If that's it's like that's not a peanut. That's a peanut brittle nut buster. That's like being like it's not just peanuts. It's a payday candy bar. It's like that is literally just peanuts with like caramel on it. <laughs> no, there, uh, there's more sugar and more it, it, processed ingredients. At least she's not giving us a circus peanut. That, no, <laughs> she ain't. You, get to, you feed that to Guapi. He's like, yeah, I'm never helping you, bad ending. You that, <laughs> there's multiple different endings to Candyland. <laughs> the good ending, the true ending, and the, the, the true, peanut and butter the ending. The true ending is where you usurp, you help Lord of Icarus usurp the throne from King Candy. Right <laughs> I'd make a remake of this game. <laughs> or a beehive. Um, Diamond. They look happy. Okay, well that happened. That just happened. Oh. <laughs> okay, um... I think it was green block on the top, purple diamond, then the... So this one first? Yeah. <laughs> Never mind. Okay, boop, boop, doop. 
Okay, that one. That one. Yo. Mm -hmm. Boom. I don't know why we needed to repeat that for the squirrel to convince us to give him the peanut. The bag. squirrel's like, you're actually smart. Oh, oh. This peanut's only. Uh -huh. This peanut's only for smart people. <laughs> Now that's a good little squirrel. No, it's not. She just stole that. Finally, one peanut brittle nut buster. You didn't have a second one you could have given us? <laughs> Thanks for the regular old Wait, peanut. Gloppy will go nuts over this. <laughs> okay, that was a good one. <laughs> okay, licorice time. But Gloppy's gonna go nuts because he's like, I told you I wanted candy! <laughs> you just gave me a plum and a peanut! A <laughs> you morons! Nuts, nuts, nuts! <laughs> You'll be sorry now. Whoa. <laughs> uh... Oh. So, so, so the tornado the, the was still tornado living was in, in the, the house. house. <laughs> then they were like, so, oh, Lord of Licorice, hey man, give, give us him a hug. <laughs> um, yeah, Grandma Nut, your house might be completely destroyed. Uh, yeah, Grandma Nut, I would not go inside also, that I house. Also, I like how there's no music in this area. Someone's inside trying to get out. <laughs> okay. I sure hope you Grandma not kidnapped somebody. Candy. Maybe... I didn't. I just heard. I sure hope it's candy. <laughs> 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 That's the whole game in a nutshell. But it, <laughs> get it? <laughs> 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 was on the inside. Okay. Get it? Ah, this game drives me nuts. <laughs> that wasn't even a. See, he shaked his butt. <laughs> he did. You're right. What? A, oh, come on, Jolly. All right. Even though this would have been perfect to just go all the way cl uh, like clockwise. Nope. If you're following the order of the game, you have to skip and go to the lollipop woods. Which is arguably the best, I think. Probably. It's usually the one I started with. Oh my gosh, it's the sun from Mario. Yep. Time for a major meltdown. A red hot sun should do the trick. Spicy red hot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so evil. I gave hot tamales to the sun <laughs> without water. <laughs> I mean, if the sun burns us to a crisp, that's what happens. The ozone's not gone. If you guys are upset about global warming, blame Lord Licorice. Don't yeah. blame any of these, like, <laughs> greenhouse gases. Like, come on. Oh, wow. How hot is it? That's what I told you. We're going to die. <laughs> Lollipop child. Gosh, it's ruined. Lord Licorice sent a red hot sun that's melting most of my lollipop crop. I've got to get up there and cool those rays. Maybe we can help you save your suckers, Princess Lolly. That's a very sweet offer. I do like these puns. I know that's how you get lollipops in real life. You just plant them like they're crops. <laughs> She reminds I like me this of music. Sally from Charlie Brown. Now, if a little bit. you could put them in order from shortest to tallest, we can build a stairway to the sun. What is your put? What? The sun is kind of in outer space, you this know. This is perspective. <laughs> I know. Also, the sun right now, where he's, like, sweating and red, it looks like a sun that would appear on, like, the label of a hot sauce that you absolutely do, do not, not want to eat. eat. Also... <laughs> Dave's even the sun suffers sauce. Also, I don't know what Lollipop's talking about. We can totally make some jumps. We don't need a perfect staircase. <laughs> oh, for sure. Alright, let's get that closest to the sun. Oh. Oh, we can't just swap them. No. That would be far too easy. Uh, okay, that one's taller. Of course it is. That was a pretty lollipop. Oh, it plays the little sound effect when you put it in the right spot. You didn't know that? Nope. Go for it, girl. Hey, girl. Uh, what the heck was that? <laughs> it's a. I didn't. I didn't realize we were playing Mario Galaxy. <laughs> what? What? What a great jump animation! 
If she falls from here, she's dying. Yeah. Ah, tropical punch. Thank you. <laughs> Whoa, that, that was magic? Yup. Watch out, Princess Lolly. The lolly bomb's cracking. She's a cop. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> I'm stuck. But I think you can help you by can putting that job. lollipop back together. Can again. we just leave? <laughs> that would be funny. <laughs> just put the lollipop on the This Okay, the sun went from like 5,000 degrees to melt pop lollipops in an instant the to like normal temperature, but then all the melted lollipops again. like materialized back to normal again. I did not really. Um, also, this I think is harder on this hard is harder mode. harder on hard mode for sure. The original, it's only like four pieces. That's the right spot. That is literally the right spot. There you go. <laughs> oh, you messed up so many times that the. I, thing did, had to I clicked up. the right spot! <laughs> the game is bogus. The game is bogus. True. It's pretty bogus. Gnarly bra. Excellent! <laughs> that is not how you put together a lollipop. It's gonna fall in two seconds. We didn't glue it together or anything. We just. We just you fixed it! <laughs> Now that the broken lollipop has been fixed, we need to put it back on top of the stick so Princess Lolly can get down. Oh can, no! We can leave. Can we please just... I, I normally would leave as a joke, but I think we have to do everything all, all over again if we do that, so no. And yeah. then we... Then we... we... <laughs> it cracks again and she dies. There's a black licorice over there. There is. That's the worst kind. And a time. weird lollipop as well on the side. For you, my lucky pop is thanks for helping me save the lollipop wood. She basically it just gave us one of her hairbands. During the rest of your journey. Thank you. Gloppy will lick up this lucky pop lickety split, and we'll be one candy closer to saving the king. Usually the lollipop one's the first one I do. Yeah. There's um, also, though, I've mentioned the game is kind of not well programmed. You can get multiple of one candy by glitching. You can. Also, <laughs> click some stuff. Click oh, the... Yeah. <sighs> okay, then. Hi, click Lolly. The other lollipop. I wish I could help you save King Candy, but I've got lollipop trees to plant. You have a you lot. You already helped by giving us the lucky pop. <laughs> There's you freaking given us lava better. in this area. There is. This dog cools you up on a hot day. A popsicle. <laughs> can we please kill him? <laughs> he's 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 a lollipop, so we can eat him. Oh, sucker punch! A lollipox on you. <laughs> <laughs> that was clever. Oh. Oh, that's better he, than what? He fell into the lollipop gorse bush. <laughs> I thought he fell into the lava. I'm like, he's he's, he's dry. He's dead. He's dry red uh, licorice. <laughs> dry man. Wario. Dry Wario. Yeah. All right, let's still let's need, get out of here. Still need dry Wario. I love how I love how the, I love how Candy Kid just always does like the shoulder out the truck window. <laughs> oh, she curtsied for us. Thanks. Grandma Nuts, like, just does the one wave where she, she raises it's the her hand. Queen's wave. She does, she raises her hand once, once before turning into a werewolf from clearing water. red eyes and running off into the moon with nothing. <laughs> All right. It's a little different form. All right. Uh, one last world ice cream sea. It's good. And this is where we're going to see Lord of Icarus at his absolute most evil. Is <laughs> just, it? just wait till you see what he's going to do. <laughs> the ice cream sea, I see. There'll be no smooth sailing for you once this cherry makes a splash. <laughs> I think you're getting less evil, not more evil. <laughs> He's like, oh, the ice cream tea, I'm gonna throw a cherry in it. <laughs> <laughs> this guy is. This guy is my favorite what would part the of the cherry game, by the Oh, well, that's different. Why so blue, Queen Frosting? <laughs> Lord Licorice sent a vanilla tidal wave that whitewashed everything. If the colored frosting isn't put back right away, I'm afraid the vanilla will spread to all of Candyland. Vanilla's great. Maybe yeah, what's the problem? Help. Here, use these tools and you'll bring color back to my home sweet home. Why can't you do it? You're done, do you not know how to use Microsoft Paint? And I'll have a little surprise for you. Oh boy. 
So this is the coloring book of the game, and there's actually a bunch of different places we can go to, but we only need Let's to color one page. Let's paint the sky red. Red? For what color? <laughs> it's it's despair. You know, like that nightmare stage from uh, <laughs> from uh, this is beautiful. Let's just make everything chocolate. <laughs> That looks disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's make the let's make these guys as creepy as possible. Red eyes. Uh, <laughs> this is the sentiency. <laughs> Quid Frostine's like your sense of humor is very weird. <laughs> weird? <laughs> it's very weird. Purple. purple. What kind of ice cream would be purple? It's like plum ice cream. <laughs> I've got it. We can make plum, plum ice, ice cream. cream. Shut up, plumpy. Yellow. Oh, we should have made the C yellow. <laughs> For Batter's <laughs> Guy! Batter's Guy! <laughs> These look like gnomes. Yeah, uh, we need to get that scepter meter filled up as we pick color. It'll give us more. But we can also then just dump candy everywhere to massively increase it. Oh, I didn't know we could do that. Remember, when you are done coloring and decorating, click on my ice cream scepter down below, and I have a surprise We can color a different page. You. Everything. Yeah, we could. I remember that. I remember the ice cream sandwiches. I just put them everywhere. Okay. I think it's. Oh fun. dear. I think things need to be just a bit more colorful. Okay, fine. We'll color more. In. No, I don't think that was. I don't think that was actually increasing anything. I think we literally need to color more. It's too much white. There we go. Rainbow. And remember, when you're all finished helping me. I just clicked it. Like literally just now. Ice cream scepter down below. Okay. Also, I'm gonna I'm gonna make a bold statement here. Queen Frostine is better than Elsa. Uh, uh yeah. Home, sweet home. You saved the ice cream. Scepter. Elsa's like, I have powers of ice. I have oh, powers boy. of you ice cream. We we turned the <laughs> vanilla into scepter. orange sherbet. Also, Queen Frostine has more personality than Elsa. Elsa's just a Dina Menzel. <laughs> Thanks, Queen Frostine. This will make Globby one happy molasses monster. To... Hooray, hooray! It's our lucky day! Let's go be gloppy right away! No! We can There's one more candy. licorice we need to click on. <laughs> You're not saying anything. <laughs> You're not yeah, saying we've got... anything. <laughs> we've got... Okay, good. <laughs> He's stuck in his talking animation! What the heck? We can just click on stuff, and then we can also... Okay, I like... <laughs> Gl gloppy, it's like, okay, Queen Frostine, you're in an ice cream area. You could have given us, like, an ice cream sandwich or, like, <laughs> purple cow ice cream cart. No, you gave us a snowflake. <laughs> That's not candy. Where's the... I have never seen such a beautiful ice cream sea. Um, it's I have. It's this disgusting. Is terrible. This is orange sherbet. <laughs> it looked like Candy Kid was just, like, giving a passionate uh, oh, sermon on Leviticus. Where is... You have to keep going for a couple of these scenes until you get to the licorice. I remembered loving this one. I never did more than the first two. Oh, so you've never seen the licorice in this area? No, I never have. Oh. Well, let's first color the sea red. <laughs> oh. Rocky Road. I'll defrost your colorful frosting. I have more cherries. Just died in a sea of blood. Uh oh. Shark! Ah! Ah! <laughs> Quit frosting. You have sharks, sharks living in your ice cream. Ice cream? <laughs> <laughs> Wow, Queen Frostine has a pet shark. That's pretty cool. That's insane. Herp a derp skirp. All right. Goodbye. <laughs> Later. Well, this will be around an hour video, I think. So you got all six candies for Gloppy, did you? Well, he may eat them, but you will never get into my castle to rescue King Candy. Never. <laughs> <laughs> Word Licorice makes this game. Yes. Props to the voice actor, whoever it is. <laughs> I think he had a great time doing it. Yeah. If it says in the credits, we'll. Uh, we, give, we give like we up. give Gloppy the six candies. Thanks, sucker. The end of the game. <laughs> 
<laughs> All right, uh, should we give him them in order that we got them, or should we be like, let's start the snowflake? This is yeah, the disappointing yeah. one. Yeah, start with the disappointment. All right, the disappointed one first. Here's a snowflake. Ice cream, we scream, we love to scream for ice cream scepter. <laughs> that magically changed the fortress, and he grew an arm. Good. Only five <laughs> to go. <laughs> Wait, I've never what fed him What is in no these candies? <laughs> <laughs> I've never fed him the ice cream scepter first. Why did he grow an arm? No, what, whatever candy you feed him first, he always grows an arm. It's oh. like, as he eats candies, he like mutates and becomes more and more okay, human-like. I just realized the reason why Lord Licorice... <laughs> Why Lord Rick Licorice is a problem. Because <laughs> Licorice sucks. No, because Licorice stole the palace. <laughs> he turned the palace into Licorice. Yeah. <laughs> I saw you always leaning your shoulder on the car and I wanted to try it too. Which is more disappointing, a plum or a peanut? Plum. Nobody likes plums. I like plums. You like plums? I like plums. You like plums are more candy like than. A yeah, peanut. but peanuts are better. But like plums. Disagree. Plums, I'm like, are you old? Yum. Like, I feel like plums are like an old person. I like the plums with the red fleshy center, not like the orange center. <laughs> He's ready to get out of the pool. <laughs> this is an Egyptian swim! All Hebrews out of the water! <laughs> He's happier about- Whoa! <laughs> we just need three more candies. That guy just stood up. <laughs> All of a sudden he grew a torso. <laughs> <laughs> oh, candy makes you grow body parts. <laughs> you know, that's, that's not true. All right. Lollipop, gumdrop, and candy cane. Gumdrops suck. Okay. One of the characters from the. Oh, delicious! Okay, Only two two things. <laughs> two things. Uh, Gump Gumpy is that his name? Gloppy. Gloppy. He sounds like a character from the Zelda CDI game. Join me, Link. For no, dinner. not that. He sounds like the perhaps just one more. Where like oh. you, he eats like a fish or something. Okay, candy cane or lollipop. Oh, they're both good. Is it a Tootsie Pop though? No. Then give him that. <laughs> if it's not a Tootsie Pop, it's not. I I give zero cares. <laughs> He also looks I'm like Bowser. So oh, he's standing. I ate up the lucky pop. Bowser, stick Bowser did jam. He just ate the stick. <laughs> Some kids do that. Mm -hmm. Now I only need one. He's like ready candy. to tackle. Oh, this is so exciting. <laughs> if I could eat one more candy, it, I could join the football team. It will <laughs> be great. It looks like he's in quicksand. It's the molasses swamp, so That's it's very sticky. It's very sticky. Well, he is the molasses swamp. <laughs> Key, Lord Licorice has a pet buzzard. That's pretty cool. That's like Maleficent. Maleficent has a raven. Oh. That's also cool. <laughs> Smoke candy canes every day. <laughs> oh, candy cane. Oh, candy cane. You taste so good and sticky. He has feet oh, now. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Now I can help you get through the moat and into the castle. <laughs> <laughs> what? Halt! This is private property. Says who? Whoa! I'll get you next time. <laughs> <laughs> he gave up really easily. <laughs> private property that's like the the best it's true. that's the best vinyl confrontation with a villain ever so gloppy's i must eat candy so i can become human so i can turn into a piece of track and you can drive across me <laughs> hey king candy what's You're up here to save me i knew you'd come if you can get me out of here i can save candyland from lord licorice's sour power but I like sour candies. We'll find a way to get you out, King Candy. Thankfully, Lord Wickers put this machine gun right next to the jail cell. <laughs> Wait, is there only a certain number? No, they, they grow back. <laughs> oh, they do grow back. It's like quarters. Way to go! Oh, Lord Wickers. 
another one. Another. Don't shoot me. Kid Candy, you can very clearly escape now. <laughs> oh no, oh, one block in the way. I'm too fat. <laughs> really? No, there's like two blocks. Really, King Candy? <laughs> okay, I'm also a bad aim, but still. Okay. There we go. Wait, that only hit one! It knocks two down at the time, though. Candy, oh. kid, I am free at last. How sweet! He looks like the king How... from Cinderella. Oh yeah, he does! He looks so happy. We saved King Candy, and now he now we win for some reason, even though Lord of Icarus is still alive. He just walked off. <laughs> Let me destroy all this licorice. They suck. Now oh my gosh. this is more like it. My treasury of treats. Jolly good job. These are my most precious candies. I would like to share them with you. Before the sugar crystals all fall, you may put as many candies as time allows into this candy. <laughs> Hang on, let me get my vacuum cleaner. Like <laughs> Luigi. Ready? Yeah. Begin. All right, this is what we worked for. Uh oh, with a trackpad, this sucks. <laughs> you can literally just grab one candy. <laughs> You're gonna have to grab more than that, candy kid. <laughs> Give me those ice cream sandwiches, those are good. Ice cream sandwiches. Get those purple donuts. <laughs> I'm pretty sure those are lifesavers. <laughs> the king's like, oh, He's like, trackpad. <laughs> oh yeah, trackpad is really sucky for this. <laughs> Let's take some licorice too. Wait, wait, How wait, dare wait. you? <laughs> wait, what happens if you don't grab any? Then it's bad. <laughs> I don't know. Time's up. May you enjoy these sweet treats. <laughs> we just eat them all. <laughs> Don't worry, King Candy, we will. This is going straight to Mr. Pop. He could really use this candy. Because he sucks at business. Why, that's the sweetest thing I've heard in a long time. <laughs> the puns in this are so bad, they're good. Yeah. <laughs> King Candy. Whoa! So are we going to like? Are we gonna deal with Lord Licorice? Or is, or, is, or is just tripping himself into the molasses swamp punishment enough? He All, all he really did was throw a cherry in a river. <laughs> And summon a tornado. Did we grab the lemon drops? I don't remember. Which. I don't think so. It's, it's just, no matter what you grab it, all this stuff pops out at the end. Yeah, he's got literally like a mechanical gumball machine of King Candy in here. How does he know what he looks like? <sighs> Why well, I must have fallen, uh... <laughs> well, pop my tarts. Where'd all this come from? Courtesy of King Candy, our good friend over here, and little old me. A talking gingerbread, this is weird. <laughs> Thank you. I'm so happy I'm going to cry candy tears. Now with all this candy, candy tears. I won't have to go How does that work? Shop. Are you a candy you robot? You all have made me one happy Mr. Pops. <laughs> yeah. Gotta go. You did a great job. I know that's how I remember eat lollipops too. You. So remember, here's looking at you, kid. Wow, I forgot about uh, that line. That's a pretty good last line, honestly. It is. Actually. <laughs> and um, yeah, that's Candyland adventure. The bird's happy now. The bird was always happy. The bird was like, the bird was the one who ate all the candy in the first place. <laughs> Ah. The Molasses Swamp Farewell. is creepy here. Have a safe journey home, and always remember, ahem. Thank you, thank you, thank you for saving Candyland. Thank you, oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Never did I. <laughs> I thought you were just like, <laughs> Elsa's gonna sing, you better believe it. Don't look at the gingerbread man. <laughs> He's like, why is everybody looking over here? <laughs> I'll get you next time. Sour power rules. <laughs> <laughs> no wonder Lord of Icarus wanted, like, some power. Like, everyone hates him. Everyone hates him. All They're like, oh, licorice, gross. All he did was drop a cherry in a In lake. a river. 
That's like what, basically all he did. And he, he also summoned a tornado and a thunderstorm. But for the most part, he, okay, and he Let's kidnapped King Candy many, and turned his palace into Let's licorice. see how many people there were to voice. I still can't believe that Mr. Pops is that bad at business where he's just like, sold all my candy, didn't buy any new ones, bought a new plasma screen TV, can't afford any new candy. Only it's like five animators. Oh, oh, I need to know who voiced um, Lord Licorice. Licorice, yeah. <laughs> also, the guy who said, Butterscotch! Oh, never mind. Wow, that ended. That, was, that ended abruptly. <laughs> that was an abrupt ending. Apparently, it doesn't tell us who voiced all that. Well. <laughs> but I wanted to know who well, voiced the, the King Candy. <laughs> <laughs> King Candy? That was Candyland Adventure. Probably not how you remember Candyland being as a kid, but. That was fun. Thanks for recording that, Marty. That of course, <laughs> yeah. Always happy to. <laughs> that was hilarious. <laughs> that was ridiculous. Lord well, Licorice I, is my favorite part, I feel a doubt. really bad for the programmers for this game, because they probably were like, oh, we could put this on our resume after it's done. And then it's like, like, oh, you made Candyland Adventure? Came out and they were like, it's kind of buggy. No, can I not have my name in the credits? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's it. I feel like the vo well, okay, some of the voice actors were really bad, but I think a lot of that was just to do with the fact that the voice clips was weren't played properly. I'm guessing what happened, too, is, like, they were like, hey, Jet, can you make a weird clown laughing <laughs> voice? Uh, sir, I'm just an animator. Get in front of that microphone! <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't, think, I don't think they actually hired voice actors. I think they were like, our programming guy can do this voice. I mean, hey, that cuts down on costs for sure. It does. <laughs> All That's right. what Disney did for a while. Yeah. Like, Maleficent was literally just one of the people. Really? Yeah, I don't think they hired she is a, her. She's really good at voice. She did, like, a billion voice. I think, I think she, like, was hired for, like, one of the projects, and they were like, we could She has, like, the best you. evil laugh. Or, uh, she does, doesn't she also have the voice on the Haunted Mansion? Oh, yeah. I am the something floating send, ball. Send us a message from somewhere beyond. Well, thanks for joining in for this April Fool's Day Let's Play. These, these, these are always fun to do. And we'll be going back to our regular regular scheduled programming after today. So thank you all Which for is, tuning in. I don't even know. Probably what. still going to be Lemmings World Tour. Yeah. Actually, defi definitely will still be Lemmings World Woo. Tour. <laughs> Anyhow, hope you guys tune in for more Let's Plays of mine in the future. And next year, we'll also try to come up with something different. <laughs> different than Candyland? <laughs> yes, we will not be doing Candyland We will be playing time. your amazing game called Recycling Bin. Yes, for sure. <laughs> Anyhow, look forward to that next year. <laughs> Until we meet again, my friends, have a great day and God bless.